there's everything's unprecedented about this spill. We've never looked at oil spills that are 5,000 feet below the surface. We've never looked at an oil spill in which they added dispersants below the surface. Um, we've never, you know, when we think of oil spills, we think of spills in which the the event lasts for a day. Chris Reddy, a scientist at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, has studied spills for decades. All oil spills are different, and it's very difficult to predict the long-term impacts of any spill. There's too many variables involved. And to give you an example, I've worked on an oil spills of two, to, two oil spills of diesel fuel, uh, both incredibly damaging in the short term. One, I can still find effects 40 years later. One, I'd be hard pressed to find impacts six months later. Some of the aftermath is immediate and obvious. Massive die-offs of birds, fish, and invertebrate species. Marshes and beaches heavily oiled. Judy McDowell, senior scientist at the biology department here, says this deep water continuous gusher is what sets the Gulf disaster apart. There's a subsurface plume and maybe a subsurface plume breaking into minor plumes uh, that is still in deep water and the fate of that oil um, is still unknown. They know because of a spill they still study today that happened 40 years ago right on their doorstep. In 1969, an oil barge named Florida ran aground here in Buzzards Bay, Massachusetts, spilling 200,000 gallons of diesel fuel. More than 40 years later in marshes miles from here, there's still evidence of the oil. You can still find oil, you can still smell oil, and it's still affecting the ecosystem. It's considered the longest studied spill in history and one that set the foundation for studies of spills even today. This body of knowledge is being used right now in the Gulf of Mexico where they're protecting and, and trying their best to prepare areas like salt marshes which show, can show, long-term impacts um, as documented here. So this is a location that is a learning point for our responders down in the Gulf of Mexico. During that time, we didn't even know that oil caused harm to the marine environment. That's how primitive we were. Biologist George Hampson did the first research into the 1969 spill. He watched as oil first rushed ashore onto Old Silver Beach, then into a sensitive estuary. The animals started coming out of the sediments because the oil was just going in and saturating the area. And so all the clams are coming to the surface, all the invertebrates forming tide pools of life, and they were dying. They weren't, they just didn't die en masse. It took time to do that. We had a silent fall that year because all the invertebrates was gone. The birds had nothing to feed on here. Over time, Old Silver Beach cleaned up, but some areas still show damage. It's a rock. Yep, yeah, and you can still smell diesel. While so. the marsh appears pristine and recovered today, Reddy has looked more closely. In this location, uh, crabs won't burrow any deeper. The grasses aren't as robust. For the Gulf, some predict massive dead zones where nothing can survive, and coastal communities sustaining future damage from hurricanes that stir up contaminated water. Eventually, there will be recovery, but in between, there will be a long period during which uh, the oil will be degraded slowly or rapidly depending upon the particular conditions. The oil will be degraded by microbes, by bacteria, um, and that will be an important process in part of the cleaning of the, of the environment. But with every spill different, and with the Gulf spill not even contained yet, Reddy says any predictions are impossible and would be irresponsible. The most he'll say? Only that there's likely going to be impacts. If anybody out there says anything beyond that there's likely going to be some impacts and puts any timelines or any type of um, the sky is falling uh, predictions and they're being scientifically imprudent. The best thing we can do is study what's going on, get good high quality data, let's not blog it the day we find it, and work it out, be prudent. And at the end of the day, everybody's going to be better off. Okay.